Hi everyone, it's um, Scott here for a cool smartphone with a quick run through of um, how to flash a ROM with a custom recovery. Um, I've just done a guide on uh, flashing a custom recovery and uh, with that obviously you can uh, then uh, root your device and flash custom ROMs on it and, and the like. So uh, I'm just going to go a quick run through of uh, how to use um, uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, now there's two or three ways to, to get into recovery. Um, if, if you've got your device on already, the quickest way, if it's already rooted, would be to um, go via ADB. Uh, ADB stands for Android Debugging Bridge and it's just basically a way for your computer uh, to talk to your device. So um, basically ADB Reboot Recovery Recovery which will take you straight through to the recovery um, we flashed previously if you followed the, the guide. So on here we'll have our options, uh, reboot system, install zip from SD card, wipe data factory reset um, and a load of other options you can use uh, but for the purposes of this video we're just going to go on how to um, uh, flash a, uh, a custom ROM so we're going to assume that you're um, on stock and you're uh, going to go to another mod, say um, Cyanogen mod, um, which is what I'm just going to flash now. So, um, one of the first, first things we're going to need to do would be to um, back up our current ROM. So we say back up and restore, back up, um, and it's going to go through the backup process. This is going to take a while, so we'll come back when this has finished. Okay, so that's um, completed the backup now. Um, <clears throat> you'll have all your information here from what it's from what it's been going through. Um, so you can read it here. It's backing up the boot image recovery image system, um, and then it does um, it frees up any uh, free space it has um, from any current backups, um, and then it backs up the data. Backing up the data depending on how how many apps you have installed, obviously. Um, can take a, a long time, so be patient. Don't get freaked out if it just is just stuck on backing up data. It is doing stuff. Just let it do its thing and finish. So we've now backed up our stock ROM. Um, so now we want to do a uh, wipe and data factory reset, um, which is going to um, wipe everything on a device. Um, and we'll have. I, I've got um, Clockwork Mod um, Touch Recovery here. Uh, depending on which one you install, obviously, um, uh, I, I just like the interface on this one. But the uh, the other recovery, you just use the uh, the volume rocker um, and the power button to navigate through it, like I'm doing here. But the touch recovery, obviously, you can touch it. So um, uh, it's asking us to confirm. Um, to uh, do our factory wipe, say yes. Uh, we'll go through again, wiping data, um, cache, all the parts of the system. We, we want to be clean before we put a new ROM on there. Um, 
and uh, now we're going to select install ROM from SD card um, choose zip from SD card and we want to navigate to um, where we've got our ROM saved now I know my one is in clockwork mod where is that here it is clockwork mod um, download and uh, I'm using uh, Fitz uh, Rixies or Fitz Snugglies he's known on uh, Twitter I'm using his Jelly Bro uh, version of um, uh, Sun Legend Mod 10 and uh, where it's a grouper there that's the that's the uh, the model name of the uh, Nexus 7 so here you can see I've got a couple well, I'm going to flash the one from the 25th um, today's one um, so there we go, picked out the zip, yes, um, install the zip, uh, it, it's the same process again as like, when you flashed the um, the SU zip, it goes in, finds the update, opens it, installs it, um, <clears throat> and then you're ready to go, so we're just waiting for this to finish now. the progress bar here. Shouldn't take too long. Install complete. Um, if we say, I mean from now we're ready to go but we can install additional things like a, uh, a custom kernel or other sort of um, uh, mods you can get on XDA and all other great places like that. Uh, Roots Wiki and the like. So um, now we're ready to go. So if we hit um, go back there and uh, reboot system, it's going to take us into our nice, clean, brand new ROM, uh, which we can start playing with. So um, that's it, really. I uh, hope the guide's been helpful. Um, my name's Scott Spence for Cool Smartphone. Thank you for watching.